The Centre for Addiction and Mental Health, or CAMH, is Canada's first and largest treatment and research facility dedicated to both addictions and mental health, located in the heart of Toronto. According to Vice President of Research Bruce Pollock, this unique interdisciplinary perspective is what gives CAMH its advantage. That's where discoveries are made, at the, uh, the intersection of two different fields. We've learned more about the brain um, in the last uh, five years uh, than we knew in all of human history before that. And this kind of, there's an exponential uh, growth in this, and uh, this offers, for the first time, uh, tremendous hope uh, to our um, patients and their families. Inside CAMH, each lab is devoted to its own discipline and run by specialists from various fields. But they are united by one ultimate goal, to better understand how the brain functions so they can effectively treat patients with psychiatric disorders. In some instances, for example, people don't respond to medication. Why? Is that because you have a different gene than other people? Or is there another cause? So again, by linking those and working together as a team, then we can provide those answers. James Kennedy is the head of the Neuroscience Research Department at CAMH. His lab studies a patient's DNA blueprint to determine how their genetic makeup may increase or decrease their risk of inheriting different psychiatric conditions. The two areas that we're very interested in uh, currently are how genetic factors um, interplay with the medication that patients take. And this is our approach to personalized medicine. We call this pharmacogenetics, that is using genetic factors to predict um, which medication should be prescribed for a given individual patient in order to avoid side effects and to get the best response. And that's a nice area where we're already um, applying this in a clinic here at, at the CAMH hospital. We're already giving genetic information to the doctors so they can uh, write their prescriptions with more knowledge. This area of research helps doctors avoid unnecessary complications. In the last decade, researchers noticed that medication prescribed for schizophrenia can cause severe weight gain and diabetes in certain patients. By identifying the specific genes that trigger weight gain, doctors can create alternative treatment plans for patients who carry them. In the CAMH Research Imaging Center, Jeffrey Meyer shows off a positron emission tomography, or PET scanner. Researchers use it to study brain chemistry so they can develop strategies to prevent the escalation of disorders such as clinical depression. Uh, what we can do is we have uh, chemists who specialize in making these dyes. These dyes go to the brain, they stick to a target site, and then we can image that target site. Over in the MRI unit, Nancy Lobaugh uses magnetic resonance imaging technology to answer questions about brain structure, brain function, and various aspects of brain physiology. What it allows us to do is to measure the connections between brain regions. Is there a connection? Is it somehow different in a person with a psychiatric disorder from a person who doesn't have the psychiatric disorder? How do they differ in aging, in development? And by knowing what the connections are between the two brain regions, how they differ based on the brain genetics and the person's history, then we might be able to come up with a marker to say that the, this treatment will work in this sort of person but not in this person. The research infrastructure, funded by the Canada Foundation for Innovation, not only allows researchers to understand how medication affects the brain, but it also gives them the tools to develop new treatments. CAMH's interdisciplinary approach keeps them at the forefront of mental health and addictions research. The combination of genetics and imaging technology allows them to conduct the most advanced neurological investigations and develop the most effective treatments for psychiatric disorders. Mm -hmm.